Hello, my dear students of grade seven. Welcome to Kamin English Learning Channel. Today we are going to start English pupils' book of Unit One. Are you all ready? Come, let's see what are the lessons we are going to discuss today. Unit One: What you see. Ninga enna paathir hai. Andra dhan. Unit unit one unit So let's see what are the lessons we are going to learn under this topic. What you see? Okay, activity one. It is an act out. Activity activity one na na play, na ura yaad. It's Saturday afternoon. Sandria and her friends are out in the garden. This is a sanicleamai. Matti ana maarekudu. Sandria o mavada friends mande garden la boy. Pundo arda Venura asks, Hi Rajan, we've been waiting for you. Now, you can see that Rajan is Venura. Solra. Rajan says, Hi everybody, there's something wrong with my bicycle. Hi, I'm going to tell you that bicycle is not a problem. Venura asks, Why? What's wrong? What's wrong? Venura says, Rajan says, I don't know. Maybe it's the chain. In a kateriella, maybe chain ariclam and soli chulre. Venura asks, Why don't you take it to a mechanic? Ending it or a mechanic to conduva kudadi and the Venura kakra. Rajan says, Yes, I must. Katam conduvonum. By the way, I have to leave a little early today. Alloda nande konyam, early ya nekipo honum and soli Rajan solre. Sandria, why is that? In a pretty Rajan says, I have to give a speech on Monday. In a correct, H on the solar recadil, the inclement solely, Rajan Sol. Sandria, oh, what's it about? Other petty and a kagra. Rajan says, It's about my school. I have to prepare for it. In the school of petty cholonum, Nana Vicker, Aitha Mahavanam and the solder. Kavisha asks, All right, friends, what's new today? Sorry, friends, the Kenda Pudusarekadil and the kagra. Venura says, I got something to, to show you. Nan Mande, Konyam, I got I've got something to show you. Umulda, Katra the Konyam Shangal Rick and Soli, Solda. Sandrias, is it a new magic trick? Ah, Pudu magic trick Kerim Kata Poringla? Venura says, No, it's not Ilayla, Adilla. Rajan asks, What's it then, Venura? A Pabrina in Venura and Soli, Rajan Kerkra. Venura says, well, I am going to shake the water in this bottle. Nan in the bottle water vandu kuluka poran and solra. Rajan, aha, then something like a tornado is made. Tornado say Maria and Kagra. Kavisha, do you know this trick? Rajan, yes, I learned it from Navindu. Oh, it is Navindu den the Padichina. Sandria, oh great, Nella Vishya. Kavisha, I need a glass of water and a piece of cardboard. Or a glass of water, um, piece of cardboard. Monument. So, leave Kavisha Soldra. Answer the following questions. If questions the answer when pora. When did the friends meet? Upper friends ella meet pannavanga. Saturday afternoon. The correct answer is Saturday afternoon. Where did they meet? Anga meet pannavanga in the garden. Garden la meet pannavanga. Who are the friends? Yar yar friends? Venura, Sanria, Rajan, and Kavisha. Who came late? Yar pindi vandadu. Rajan. What did Venura show his friends? He showed a bottle of water. What is Kavisha going to do? Kavisha is going to do a trick. Okay. Please write down this question and answers also in your exercise book. We'll move to the next activity now. Right. Opposites O antonyms and I na pilegal edit chotkal. Ena edit chotkal adar nanga opposites O antonyms and solua. Absent present, advantages, disadvantage, against, for, crook, straight, agree, disagree, all, none, always, never, backward, forward, bitter, sweet. Artificial, natural. So, this is the first part of the In the opposite words, you will examine the exam. So, this is the first part of the 
அதே மாதிரி ஆக்டிவிட்டி த்ரீய பாத்தீங்கன்னா ரைட் சூட்டபிள் ஆப்போசிட் வேர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஈச் பிக்சர் பாத்தீங்களா முதலாவது வந்து ஹாப்பி ஹாப்பி ஸ்மைலி அங்கெல்லாம் சேட் சேட் எம்டி ஃபுல் பிளாக் வைட் ஸ்ட்ரைட் க்ரூப்ட் ஓல்ட் யங் அண்ட் டேக் ஆக்டிவிட்டி ஃபோர் மேட்ச் தி ஆப்போசிட் வேர்ட்ஸ் பேஷன் இம்பேஷன் noisy quiet early late polite impolite dry wet found lost give receive heavy light narrow wide obedient disobedient so please match the opposite words write down this question in your exercise book and match it activity 5 circle the two synonyms in each set of words naanga antonyms or opposite words endu paathranga dane adhe mari idhu vandu synonyms enda otta sol otta sol neenga round panna poringa chilly cool walk stroll scare frighten gift present paint color so idha neenga vandu indha work copy la ledi potu கரெக்ட் ஆன்சரை வந்து சர்க்கிள் பண்ணுங்க ஓகே ரைட் அ சினனிம் ஃபார் ஈச் வேர்ட் ஒத்த சொல்ல எழுதட்டா ஒவ்வொரு சொல்லுக்கும் ரைட் சைலண்ட் குவாய்ட் சி லுக் டேஸ்டி டெலிஷியஸ் டைனி ஸ்மால் பியூட்டிஃபுல் பிரிட்டி ஓகே write down this also in your exercise book okay activity 6 there is also an act out kavisha asks oh whose creative idea is this yaroda creative idea idu puttaka sindhana idu endu solli kekkra sanriya says my brothers and mine enudaiya sahodaranadum enadum endu solra venura says amazing a bottle of soft drink is now a bottle of bird feed ஒரு பாட்டில் ஆஃப் சாஃப்ட் ட்ரிங்க் குடிக்கிற பாட்டில் வந்து இப்ப வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா சாப்பாடா இருக்கு என்றும் தூக்கி அறிஞ்சிருவோம் சன்ரியா வி ஷுட் லேர்ன் டு ரீயூஸ் திங்ஸ் வென் எவர் பாசிபிள் நாங்க வந்து பொருட்களை வந்து ரீயூஸ் பண்ண பழகிக் கொள்ளணும் எங்களுக்கு பொருத்தமான நேரத்துல சொல்லி சன்ரியா சொல்ற வேணுரா சேஸ் தட்ஸ் ட்ரூ அதண்டா உண்மை கவிஷா சேஸ் just as we were taught in school can you remember venura reduce reuse and recycle reduce pavaniya naga reduce pandra kurekkira reuse enna meela paavikirad recycle enda meel sulachi kodpaduthirad yes the three hours said rajan kavisha says sandria this is a fine example for reuse idu vandu nalla or example reuse kuriya நல்ல ஒரு எக்ஸாம்பிள் சொல்லி கவிஷா சொல்றா சன்ரியா சேஸ் இஸ் ஓ மோம் என்று சொல்றா empty the bag of water where's the water it has vanished thank you how did we do that we put a big sponge inside the paper bag right this was a trick question number 2 what are the magic tricks that you know write the steps that you will follow to present your magic trick to the class wear a ring on a finger hold the toothpick between thumb and index finger push the end of the toothpick into the ring on the path behind your hand and push appear to press with your thumb to make it look like it disappear open your hand bending your finger slightly the toothpick will have vanished okay next activity activity 8 
Venura read the following notice and wrote a note to Rajan. Creative Minds Puttaka Sindhaniyalakal The Inventors Club has organized Creative Mind Competition. Age 10 to 19 years. Deadline 19th June. For further information, contact Mr. Nath Sivasundaran, Teacher in Charge, Science. This is a note. Note. Dear Rajan, there is a creative work competition. Would you like to take part? Vernura. Dear Rajan and note. Imagine that you are Rajan and write a reply to his note. You may use the following. That's great. I would like to take part. We can work together. I will not miss this opportunity, etc. Dear Vernura, that's great. I would like to take part. Send me more information, Rajan. So please write down this note also in your exercise book. Okay, activity 9. Rajan planned to deliver a speech at the school assembly. This is how he did it using the mind map. Mind map and the Pritan play or Nanga or Shinna idea on a port to other Vachukonda Nanga or speech on the Solala. My school and Solijona, there are a number of teachers, ethnic teachers and the Boraparam. Principal de Pair is the principal. We have to be, it is in, there are dash classes, it is a big or small school, there are how many pupils are in your school, there is a, we have to wear, my school is, we have, and the phrases are what you can mind map on the Right. Ipak Akali and complete the mind map and write a speech on my school. Right. My school, but your speech are that. Good morning, my dear principal, vice principal, teachers and friends. Today I am here to talk about my school. My school is Gamanu Mahavidyalaya. It is in Horana. It is a big school. Our principal is Mr. Sumana Segara. There are 1,500 children and 75 teachers in our school. There are classes from grade 1 to 13. There is also a playground in our school. We have to wear black shoes with a uniform. We have to be punctual in our work and also respectful to teachers. I will end my speech by saying that I love and respect my school very much. I will always protect its good name. Thank you for your attention. Okay, my dear students, please write down this speech in your exercise book and try to memorize this speech. You can deliver this speech in your school assembly also. Next, activity 10, read and answer. Sandhani had not been feeling well and could not go, go to school for a week. A group of her friends decided to pay her visit. When they reached her house, they looked around, but no one seemed to be in the house. Suddenly, they heard a noise and looked around. It was Sandani's mother returning from the river nearby with a pile of clothes. Come on, come in. She called everybody into the house. Sandani, look, who's here? Your friends have come to see you. Sandani's mother said as she called out to her daughter. They all walked into the house with the gifts that they had bought for her. Oh, it is so nice to see you. Why don't you sit down? Sandani said, welcoming her friends. This is for you. Sandani's best friend, Harini, said as she gave a bag of gifts to Sandani. What is this? You have got me a bunch of bananas, a basket of fruit, a box of sweets and a bottle of fresh milk. You shouldn't have, but thank you for your thoughtful gifts. Let me get you some tea, Sandani's mother said as she walked into the kitchen. She came back with a packet of biscuits and tea for Sandani's friend. Here you are, have some tea. She said as she moved the pile of newspapers. 
from the from the coffee table to place the tray with the biscuits and tea. Auntie, can I have a glass of water, please? Harini asked. Sandani, why don't you get her some water? The globet is by the pot of rice. Okay, read this carefully, and to answer the questions. You have to answer this question. Let's see. Why didn't Sandani go to school for a week? Sandani ye noru kulla mia school ko po ila. Sandani was not feeling well. Ava vande konyamsuva mila mirinda. Who visited Sandani? Yar Sandani visit pani naanga. A group of friends. Oru nanbar kulam na visit panna. What did Sandani's mother have in her hand? Sandani's mother had in her hand a pile of clothes. What gifts did Sandani's friend bring her? A bunch of bananas and a bottle of fresh milk. What did Sandani's mother serve for tea? A packet of biscuits. Okay, students, write down this question and answers also in your exercise book. Activity eleven: Solve the crossword puzzle. Right. Write down this crossword puzzle in your exercise book. And now we are going to read the question. The cross. Our English teacher read out a dash of verbs. I gave a dash of flowers to my friends on her birthday. We all shared the dash of chocolate given by my uncle. There is a dash of biscuits in the cupboard. A dash of rice was given to every displaced family. A dash of soldiers went back to their barracks. Sandria bought a dash of curd. My mother offered a dash of cake to the visitor. Venura had a dash of tea. Down. My mother bought a dash of potatoes at the supermarket. My father brought me a dash of grapes. I bought a dash of milk from the grocery store. The students added a dash of salt water to the solution. Okay, these are the answers, my dear students. So write down these answers. Kilo, list, box, bottle, troop, sack, bunch, bucket, pin, pot, drop, cup, piece. An activity twelve. Describe the following picture of a village fair. One kilo of rice is rupees sixty-five. Right. This is another village fair. Or a picture on that. Remember, this is what you have to describe. This is a picture of a village fair. There are many stalls. Sellers are selling items. Sellers and a bit clever guy. Bit clever, isn't it? Such as vegetables, fruits, rice, fish, and groceries. There are people buying different items. The buyer in the middle is carrying a basket. The seller in the front stall is holding a weighing scale. Mostly vegetables and fruits are. stacked in boxes there are bunches of bananas and king coconuts hanging there are price tags for every item this is a busy place okay this is how you have to describe this picture so write down this also in your exercise book and next one is also a paragraph read this paragraph about dr abdul kalam The eleventh president of our neighboring country, India, Dr. Abdul Kalam. But you will tell me, I am a petty man. Do you have to look up? A. P. K. Abdul Kalam was born on 15th October 1931 in Tamil Nadu. From an early age, Abdul Kalam had to work hard to help his family. He studied at St. Joseph College, Trichurappalli. He had average grades at school, but He was a hard working student who loved learning. He obtained a degree in physics from the University of Madras and specialized in 
Aeronautical Engineering from the Madras Institute of Technology. After graduating, he started to work as a scientist. During the time, he directed many successful space research programs. He received many awards and wrote several books too. In 2002, Abdul Kalam was elected as the 11th President of India. He served in that position until 2007. He passed away on the 27th of July 2015. Okay, write down this also. Uh, sorry, read this paragraph and try to answer the question. Complete Dr. Abdul Kalam's life story from his birth to becoming the President of India. Born in Tamil Nadu in 1931, obtained a degree in physics, started working as a scientist, directed many research and won awards, became the 11th President of India. So you have to write this question and try to draw this life cycle story of Dr. Abdul Kalam in your exercise book. And activity 14, use the information given below and write a paragraph on the world famous writer Mark Twain. Mark Twain a petty or a paragraph for the diamond. So the world famous writer Mark Twain was born on November 13, 1835, Florida, USA. He left school after the death of his father. He started work as a printer. He worked as a trained river pilot too. He later became a humorist, journalist, lecturer and novelist. He acquired international fame for his travel narratives and his adventure stories of boyhood. Especially the adventures of Tom Sawyer and the adventures of Huckleberry Finn. They were published in 1876 and 1885, respectively. Mark Twain died April 21st, 1910. Okay, you have to write this paragraph in your exercise book and try to study it. Next one, had. Did he have an umbrella? He did not or didn't have an umbrella. He had a cup, cap. Did you have a fever? I did not have a fever. I had a headache. Okay, activity 15, you have to construct sentences connecting these three columns or so four columns. We have a lot of storybooks. Here I have only... We have a lot of storybooks. Sahan has sport practice at 4 o'clock. My mother had very long hair when she was young. The visitor does not have to have time to stay for tea now. I did not, sorry, I do not have any homework today. Our volleyball team did not have a match yesterday. Do you have a 2 rupee coin? Does a spider have eight legs? Did the baby have her afternoon nap? So, either one in a sentence, I'm going to copy it. And activity 16. Read the poem and answer the questions given below. There is a poem given to you. As I was going to send Ives, I met a man with seven wives. Each wife had seven sacks. Each sack had seven cats. Each cat had seven kids. Kids, cats, sacks and wives. How many were going to send Ives? Okay. It is a small poem. Who was going to send Ives, the poet? Whom did he meet? A man with seven wives. What did the wives carry in the sacks? Cats. How many people were going to send Ives? Eight people. Write the rhyming words in the above poem. Ives, wives. Give a suitable title to the poem. Who went to send Ives? Okay, my dear students, write down these answers also in your exercise book. 
Okay, my dear students. Hope you all enjoyed and understood today's lessons very well. So, please write down all the activities in your exercise book and study well. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. I will meet you soon with an interesting lesson later. Bye.